of baptism and for these special young people who have completed their confirmation classes and are now making a public affirmation of their baptismal vows. I present Kaylee, Zoe, Samantha, and Hunter who desire to make a public affirmation of their baptism. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for our sisters and our brother in Christ. And would be Kaylee, Samantha, Zoe, and Hunter, whom you have made your own, by water and by the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself. You have enlightened them with the gifts of your spirit. You have nourished them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism. And unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. So now Zoe and Samantha and Kaylee and Hunter, I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, to reject sin and confess the faith of the church. So do you renounce the devil and the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? And now congregation, confirmand, sponsors, parents, grandparents, do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. So now Samantha and Kaylee and Hunter and Zoe, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you continue? Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God, and to share in the Lord's Supper? To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. To serve all people following the, the example of Jesus. And to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. If so, say, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Very good. Congregation, people of God, do you promise to support Samantha, Kaylee, Zoe, and Hunter and pray for them in their new life in Christ? Please respond, we do, and we ask God to help and guide us. So now I'm going to invite the confirmants to kneel at the altar rail. And uh, family sponsors, if you could kind of file in behind them. I'm going to invite you to lay your hands on your confirmant's shoulder or on their head or back. We're going to do a special blessing for each confirmant this morning as supported by their family, sponsors, and by the whole congregation today. You guys are just surrounded by so much love, aren't you? Yeah. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, that you cleanse us from sin, and that you raise us to eternal life. Amen. Lord, I ask that you stir up in Samantha the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, stir up in Zoe the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, stir up in Kaylee the gift of your Holy Spirit, 
the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Lord, stir up in Hunter the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. I'm going to have the confirmants now stand and join me back in front of the altar. Family, you can stay put for just one more moment. And perhaps, family, if you'd like to turn and face the congregation as well. Let us rejoice with our sisters and brother in Christ. We rejoice with them in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. Amen. All right. I think it's appropriate to have a round of applause. are with these kids every day. So families, you can be seated. Kids, you're going to stay here for just one minute longer because we have some gifts for you. Samantha, this is your baptismal certificate, or baptismal, this is your confirmation <laughs> certificate, and then this is your gift from us. And we've got one for Kaylee. And we've got one for Hunter. And then we also have one for Zoe. And then there's this character over here in the corner that would really love to say a few words as well. We um, didn't work real hard on confirmation, on memorization. We worked on finding your faith, expressing your faith, and finding the joy of Jesus Christ. And Sometimes I wondered if we were getting through, but the last three or four months has been awesome with these guys because the conversations we've had have been pretty surreal. But uh, when we did the creed, we, I had them tell me what they believed and put it in their own words. And I took their words and I wrote a creed that was for our class and I made them plaques that had that creed on it. It says, we believe that God created all mankind, the world, and everything in it. Everything we have was given to us by God, our Creator. We believe Jesus, Son of God, suffered and died to save us from our sins. Jesus went to heaven where he sits with God until he comes again. We believe that the Holy Spirit sanctifies all who believe in the Christian faith. We believe that Jesus, without sin, did not deserve to die, and that we are not worthy of the sacrifice given for us. We believe that because of the grace of God, freely given, all who believe in Jesus will be saved and will be with him eternally in heaven. As Corey passes out the rest of the, uh, the gifts, I would just like to say we are, again, so grateful for Corey and for his ministry with these young people. Um, this is your second class, is, it, is that right, Corey? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we are blessed uh, to benefit from his wisdom and leadership with our youth and other things here at church as well. <laughs> so a final word before you sit down with your families. We are just, again, so proud of you. We love you, all, all of you, and uh, just are really thankful that we're going to be able to continue to benefit and be blessed by your ministry here at Swinona. Uh, and to be blessed by your wisdom and your talents. So Zoe's giggling. She's ready to be to sit down. So I'll, I'll, I'll send you back to your families. Thank you.